Hi, I'm Bob from Pluggable Technologies. In previous videos, I gave basic introductions to multi-monitor setup, and then I followed up with some troubleshooting videos. Today, I'm going to do another troubleshooting video, and it's going to talk about how things move between displays. Now, we did this before, if you watched my previous video, of when things don't move properly from one display to the other, but this one's a little bit more subtle. So, what I have here is I have my Dell laptop, that has a fairly low resolution internal display. And I have my ViewSonic monitor uh, connected to it with an HDMI cable. And the ViewSonic monitor is a very high resolution display. It's a 4K display. So there's a lot more pixels, a lot more room for things to be there. So let me do this. Let me change my view so you can see. I've got a notepad application running here. And I've got my window, I can move it around and I can move it to the right and it travels as I expect over to my 4K display. It looks smaller because this is a much higher resolution display, so it looks smaller than on the low resolution display. That's normal as expected. Goes back and forth, that's great. But if I move this window down just a bit and try and move it back again, it doesn't do it. I hit an invisible barrier well, why is that? And how do I deal with it? How do I change it? How do I do things with it? Well, what we do is we go back to the display settings application that I've showed you previously by right clicking on the desktop and selecting display settings. And as we've seen before, it shows the two displays connected to the system denoted by numbers. And if as a little refresher, if you click identify, you can see those numbers one and two on the display. I'll do it one more time one and two. And you can see here that Windows draws the two displays to try and represent the resolution. Because the internal display is a low resolution, it's not terribly big. Because the 4K display is quite high resolution, it's much bigger. And it's where the two boxes touch that is the gateway or doorway that allows things to move back and forth. When I go and I try and move to a place that is this, you know, no person's land as you try and go through, that's where I hit the barrier. So I have to move things through that connection to make it work. Well, is that broken? No, it's working as design. But what if I want to change it? What if I want to do something different? Well, the way you would do that is simply click on one display and move it where I've moved it in a lower portion next to my 4K display. So once I make that move, I have to scroll down and click Apply to accept the change. Now it doesn't look like anything happened. It all looks still the same, but if I go back and try and move my notepad window from the top where it worked before, you'll see now I hit that invisible barrier again. But because I've moved it so that it thinks this display is down here, I can now move it back and forth and I was, as I would expect. So again, let me just bring this back up so you can see it. Where the two boxes touch denotes where that pathway or doorway or gateway is that allows you to move things back and forth. Where it becomes useful is if you have multiple displays, more than just one, and they have different sizes, you want to move things the way you want so that it helps work with your workflow to move things about. If you don't know that you can do that, it's terribly difficult to find and you may you know, wind up having to change the way you work. But Windows does make it fairly easy to just move things around and have them work the way you wish them to, not necessarily the way Windows does. So that's making sure things move properly between two displays when they're on a very different resolution. Thank you very much for watching.